This video has been an entire year in the making, so it goes without saying, I hope you enjoy it. Hey Forum, Manny back here with another video on the Cascade Sense Fragrance Station, and this one is on my top five most complimented designer fragrances. And I feel like I have to preface this though, and I feel like I'm always saying this annually, that the feedback I've garnered is totally unsolicited. Trust me, I do have a lot of fragrances that are as mass appealing, if not more, than the ones I'm about to mention. But if I actually have to walk up to someone like this and be like, here, smell this, or if they didn't have the performance to get me noticed to begin with, then they'll be pretty fraudulent if they were to make the list, right? Because you know, some of these fragrances I'm about to mention may have more balls comparison to those other fragrances where I don't actually have to ask someone what it's like. So real talk, performance definitely matters. But as always, please be sure to test these out yourself with whatever is more geographically convenient for you, whether it is ordering samples or going somewhere in store to test them out there. Because it should go without saying that results will vary. And again, these are my results. So we might as well finally get on with the first result. Here we go. It's Bleu de Chanel Eau de Toilette by Chanel. As specified, this is the Eau de Toilette concentration of the now staple work safe Bleu de Chanel by Chanel and honestly it's the best one for me. Not only is it the most cost effective because it's the cheapest of the Bleus that have the same ish longevity for me give or take but I do prefer its slight reliance on that grapefruit opening. It's more aggressive here and it'll dissipate in the air a bit more effectively than the Eau de Parfum or the Parfum allowing for a more enveloping more crowd friendly citrusy aquatic scent cloud along with a bit of the wateriness and the incense from the rest of the DNA. But sadly, on top of that, I'm not getting as noticed with this over the years because the DNA is furthermore becoming more notorious as time goes on. And just to show you something different, I've even yet to receive a compliment with this in the Parfum version. And as you can see, I've burned through at least a fifth of the bottle, so it's not like I haven't tested it at all. But again, overall, the EDT is still super nice and it's the hardest to hate with its price point. And if you need a safe scent and don't mind just being told that you smell nice, this might be the concentration for you. Again, it's Bleu de Chanel Eau de Toilette, my number five most complimented designer fragrance of the year. Now moving on to my number four most complimented fragrance of the year, here we go, it's Aqua Amara by Bulgari. Now Aqua Amara is characterized by three main notes for the most part which anyone seems to love off of me. A really vibrant, sweet mandarin orange which kicks it off, followed with some watery notes that become more prominent as it goes on, and then some olibanum which creeps in, commonly known as frankincense. Now this scent is really cool because while it has a similar note breakdown to the aforementioned Bleu, it's executed in a complete completely different way like most of the Bulgari aquas are. Like Bleu is a shower gel type fresh, while this is a more nautical mariner type fresh as it really captures the Mediterranean Sea like advertised. So it's an overall very sensible concept, but I'm glad that it's executed in a crowd friendly way because I've received a ton of positive feedback with it and in all stages of the scent at that. And hey, I can't wait to get more wares out of this next summer as it was more of a late summer pickup for me. But again, thankfully it hasn't disappointed whatsoever, especially on the feedback end. So there you go, crowd pleasing and unique for the summer. It's my number four most complimented fragrance of the year, Bulgari Aqua Amara. Now moving on to my number three most complimented fragrance of the year, it's Sweet Tobacco Spirits by 1821 Man Made. Now STS has this super friendly, back to black like boozy tobacco approach, but with as good performance, if not better, and for a fraction of the price with times to the juice. So with no detractions from me, besides maybe originality, this stuff is simply a stunner in the not so mainstream designer level, especially for those who fancy the warm tobaccos of recent from the fragrance industry. But this one I'm telling you for them, you won't smell like everyone else on a night out if you want to be the life of the party because not everyone's going to have it. But say if you want to use this for another occasion and if you're willing to ease up on a spray count, I'd say it's equally perfectly cozy when you're just chilling inside with the missus as well. So I think it's really hard for anyone to hate on this one in my experience at least, especially for this time of the year. So check it out if you've yet to. Again, it's Sweet Tobacco Spirits by 1821 Man Made at number three. We're getting there for them. Now we're on to my second place most complimented fragrance of the year. Here we go. It's Play Intense by Givenchy. Now this one is for all of my breakfast lovers out there. Play Intense has that coffee as well as a sweet syrupy tonka, a bit of fresh spiciness too. And while you have both fairly fresh and warm elements clashing together, they do so rather harmoniously. And people seem to love that syrupy breakfast vibe that it emits. Now I also own New Harlem by Bond number no. 9, kind of similar to this. And to a certain extent, both this and New Harlem both came from that Rojas Man and Michael Jordan Legends of the World. But this right here in Play Intense seems to do 
do me the right most historically as I get the most positive feedback with this out of the four. So that's why I'm still reaching for this stuff after 10 years. Again, it's my number two most complimented fragrance of the year, Play Intense by Givenchy. And now finally, we've arrived at first place, the top spot, my most complimented fragrance of the year. Here we go. It's an Eau de Toilette version of Terre de Mes. Legit, besides maybe a Lure Homme Edition Blanche by Chanel, this is the one fragrance I recommend the most often to friends with more casual noses because it's super versatile occasion-wise, and it's not like everyone wears it on a Bleu de Chanel or Aqua de Jo popularity level too. But it has a lot of bite to boot, which is hard to hate for a signature scent type of fragrance, because if you'll wear it a lot to get through your days, performance should be a factor unless you are okay with reapplying. But most importantly about Terre, did I mention that it smells incredible. It's a super friendly, slightly dirty orange with some spices backed up with some woody vetiver, and I'd say that it's hard to hate if you'd like to just get wafts of it in the air. So give this a proper wearing if you've yet to at your local Sephora or Hermes counter. But again, dead ass all these years, people just still love this stuff off of me. Women want to buy this stuff for their male partners and men want to get it themselves. So I think that's pretty flattering. So that's why it's still kicking at number one. Again, my most complimented fragrance of the year, Terre d'Hermes Eau de Toilette version by Hermes. And there it is for him. Hopefully you enjoyed my top five most complimented fragrances of the year. Please give me a thumbs up if you really want to see a niche version. I can't wait to do that for you guys if you want it. And as always, if we so happen to do reach 500 likes slash thumbs up, an assorted niche fragrance sample pack will be given to someone in the comment section below as your comment will be pinned to show that you've won. So as always, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and also hit the bell for further more notifications. But yeah, what about your most complimented fragrances of the year? Is there anything I missed? I really can't wait for you guys to tell me about that. Until then though, I'm gonna say goodbye for now, so thank you for the ongoing support. Take care, peace out, bye. Where are your fragrances?